You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Rainmaker is here. Join award-winning sales expert Jackie Rainforth as she empowers you with the confidence and information to up-level your skill set and performance while helping you to overcome any of those sales challenges that are holding you back, costing you valuable business. So please welcome your host of Make It Rain Sales, Jackie Rainforth. Welcome, everyone. This is Make It Ring Sales, and I'm your host, Jackie Rainforth. We are going to be talking about prospecting, turning profits with potential, turning potentials into profits, because you know what? It is the most difficult thing that salespeople and business owners face today, right? It is. And of course, we've got our special guest today, Greg Boulanger. He is the king of prospecting. He is from top dog sales and marketing and again we thank you for tuning in for tuning in today because hey we've got a lot of special things for you if you stay tuned to the end we have got all sorts of giveaways to help you with your prospecting to help you absolutely generate more more leads find more customers and so that you can serve more customers you can find more leads you can generate more sales you can create more revenue for yourself and today we want to get going because we know that this is a really, really hot topic. A lot of people, I don't care if you are new to selling, if you are, it, you know, you've just started out in your business or whether you've been doing this for a long time. It is one of the toughest, toughest things to do in selling, toughest things to do to grow your business. I know a lot of people have that financial roller coaster and we want to help you get off that financial roller coaster. Or if you know, if, if you've been in this for a long time, we know it's one of the things that kind of ah, hold you back. So we're going to help you today. Again, if you stay to the end, we're going to give you something at the end called the badass guide to help you find new customers now. Yes, it is a step-to-step -step guide to help you find those customers now. We make it simple. That's what I'm all about. Simple and easy steps. And that's what I'm going to help you with right now. This is something, you know, years ago when I struggled and believe me, I struggled and I, I've worked very, very hard over the years to really find simple ways to help people overcome the fear, to help them overcome that that anxiety that that holds them back that keeps them stuck in selling and today i'm going to talk about telephone prospecting because telephone prospecting of course we're all stuck at home we've got this you know and remote selling that we have to do whether it's social selling whether it's remote selling whether it's prospecting it doesn't matter what type of selling you're doing it doesn't matter if you're a small business whether you're a salesperson we all have to pick up that phone and sell so that's what i'm going to talk to you about today and telephone prospecting skills are really really important it doesn't matter if you're in you know, MLM, whether you're account manager, whether you work for a big corporation, whether you're a small business, you need to know how to use a telephone. And so that's what we're going to do. My first thing, and I'll tell you the story about it later, but I want to get these skills out. So get a pen and paper or get your computer out and write these things down because these are really important. Number one, create a really, really long list. Yes, a long list not three, not five, not 10. I mean a long list of potentials that you want to call on. Why a long list? Because if you only have a short list, you're going to give up. The dejection and rejection that comes with prospecting is overwhelming. It is. You need a long list so you don't give up. A long list, okay? Number two, research. Check them out. 
find something that you can, you know, find, you, you want commonality, you want something that you can talk about, you want something that you can lead with, find something that is, you know, that, that you can lead with, that, you, you know, something that's new that's happened in their business or um, a person that you have in common, something that makes you stand out other than, hey, this is what I have to offer, right? Find something that you can lead with. Two, Divide that warm, divide that long, long list that you have into hot, warm, and cold. That's what you want to do. Now, you want to create a power script. Okay, and I don't mean pick up the script and go la, 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 la. No, what you want is a powerful intro. And I have such a thing. A power intro that creates credibility, authority, differentiates you, creates impact, something that's going to engage, create conversation that makes you stand out from everybody else that's out there flogging. And have you not found your phone is blowing up? My phone's blowing up. I've had so many people reaching out, cold calling, doing the whole telephone prospecting thing. It's out of control these days, right? So you can be assured that your customer is, or your potential prospect is getting the same old thing. So you need to be unique and different. So make sure, and if you don't have one, reach out. I've got one that'll knock the socks off anybody else that's out there. Now, the other thing, take that script and practice it so that you are, you are natural, authentic, it comes out naturally, but have it there in front of you because I don't care who you are, you will always clam up. Yes, you will clam up. Always have it there as a backup. It's just that added little bit of confidence. Always, always have it in front of you. Always, I don't care who you are, have it in front of you. And then practice it. Leave yourself a message. Phone yourself. How do you sound? Are you good? Could you improve? Leave it. Phone your friends. Phone your family. Practice with them. Practice, practice, practice. Be prepared. Practice. It's the best thing you can do. How do you sound? Could you be better? Now, here's the thing. Slow it down. Yes. And lower your tone. Have you ever had those calls at 6 p.m. at dinner time? Mm, what did they do? Hi there. We're phoning from ABC Furnace Cleaning. Sorry, Furnace Cleaning, guys. We're here to help you clean your furnace. Would you like your furnace cleaning? What are they doing? They're talking fast and they're talking high. As soon as a prospect hears that, guess what? They are not happy. Oh, sorry, guys. There's background noise there. Um, we apologize for that. But here's the thing, you want to slow your speech down and you want to lower the tone. That's what you're looking for. Slow your speech down, lower the tone. That's what you're looking for when you leave yourself that message. The other thing you wanna do, don't phone your hottest prospects first. No, 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 no. Do not phone them first. What you wanna do is you want to be phoning the guys that are low risk. You wanna practice on them, yes, because if you blow it, it's not a big deal. Yeah, phone the little guys, the guys that are okay, you wanna practice on them, right? So if you blow it, you're not gonna beat yourself up for the next 100, 100 days, you're not gonna have those sleepless nights going, oh, I was such an idiot, I can't believe I said and did that. Don't worry about it, right? Don't worry about that. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to make yourself a promise. This is where you are going to commit, commit to at least 10 calls a day. Now, I have this thing. I want to show you what I have. See this little jar? This little jar, this is money, money in a jar. I put this in front of my computer in the morning because this is how I make my calls. I put my this is a reminder that I have to make my calls. And until those calls are made, this does not leave my, my computer. When I'm done my calls, I can put it away at the end of the day. It goes back in front of my computer. This is my commitment to me. Yes, we need a commitment. This is my accountability. This is my little money in a jar. Please, you need something. You have to make, it's all about games. You need to make games with yourself. That's something that you need to do. And always take notes. I don't care who you are, you need to take notes so that you have something on files that you can put it in your CRM, you can do something. You need to take notes so that a year down the road, because we all know that customers are harder to find and slower to close, they could come back to you. I had a client the other day, came back two or three years later, 
boom, I had all the notes there, ready to go. I remembered everything. He was right. That's how customers are impressed. You remember everything. It's because of notes. And again, cold calling is a name, right? Is a game. You need to make sure that you make it a game. How many notes can I get today? Ha ha ha. Am I going to get nine no's am i going to get 10 no's Ooh, let's play a game let's play a numbers game it's all about making it a game so that the dejection and rejection does not kill you and remember dejection and rejection it's like going to the store and getting a pair of shoes when you walk into the shoe store do you like every single pair of shoes of course not so why in the world is every single person going to like you they are not so just remember, you are not that fancy pair of red stiletto shoes hmm. or that beautiful pair of brown loafers. Hmm. Just remember, that's it. Just like you don't like every pair of shoes, not everybody is going to like you. Don't take it personal. It's not you. You're just not that fancy pair of shoes. And the other thing, remember that follow-up is essential. Put them in your CRM. Put them on some sort of card Rolodex if you're, if, you know, if you're a business owner and you don't have a fancy CRM. Put them in some sort of system so that you follow up. Create a follow-up system so that you follow up a month, two months, three months, whatever it is, so that you follow up with them. Follow-up is essential. 24% of your sales are in the follow-up. Same thing. Not everybody makes a decision right away. Actually, almost 75% of people do not make a decision right away. So your follow-up is essential and 24% of your sales are in the follow-up. So follow up with your prospects. You never know when someone is going to come back. So there you go. Those are my 10 steps to telephone prospecting. I hope that helps. And we are going to move in to talking to our top dog, Greg Belanger. Ooh, Greg, let me read to you about Greg Belanger. Hi, Greg, how are you today? Oh, let's talk about Mr. Greg. So let me introduce to you Greg. Greg is a lifelong entrepreneur, businessman, professional sales executive. Greg is co-founder and director of marketing for luck he uh, for lucky sport fishing at Eagle Nook Resort a charter sport fishing business on Canada's West Coast on Vancouver Island. He is also co-founder and VP of sales and business development for Megapix Media, operator of YYC Calgary Business, where he leads all marketing sales operations and business development for, for the organization. Greg is going to share some exciting news about his new show on YYC Business called Top Dog Tips. No BS from business advice from local experts. The show will provide our audience with real world experience and practical advice from some of the best minds in small business. And his personal quote is show no fear to success. Hey, Greg. Freddie. Hello. Hi, where's Greg? What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy EasySense.com and learn how, with your help, we can fight these horrific brain disorders. That's EasySense.com to learn more and help support the Broderick Foundation. Author, 
radio show host and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. This is Make It Rain Sales on Bold Brave TV. And we are here with our incredible guest, Greg Boulanger. He is the top dog. I mean, when it comes to prospecting, let me tell you, this guy is the top dog. His quote, show no fear and fail your way to success. And let me tell you, I have never seen anybody prospect like this guy. He is the king of prospecting. And, you know, we were just talking about how you fail your way to success. And because some people think that, you know, oh, some people are just born with it or some people just have the personality. Uh, no, you learn through your mistakes. And let me tell you, this guy is the king. He really is. So we, and it is about, it is about process, isn't it, Greg? So would you mind sharing your prospecting process with us? Because I think when people hear about, you know, your process, how do you do this? You know, when they when they get a feel for how you do it, what are the steps that you take? I think it'll really help them understand um, how how they can kind of apply it to their business and how they can kind of move forward. And I, I really think it'll help them be more successful. So would you mind? Would you mind sharing with us? Yeah, no, not at all. Thanks, Jackie. I'm glad glad to talk about it. I guess the uh, the very first step in all of this is your attitude towards prospecting. Okay, the, you've, uh, we've all heard it. Your uh, your attitude determines your altitude, and your your ad- attitude determines your outcome. So you know what? The very first sale you have to make is to yourself. Sales is not an easy gig. It's not for everyone. Prospecting, I think you mentioned it, can be full of uh, full of rejection, a lot of waste of time. And unless you get really clear on your why, why are you doing this? What's driving you? And get clear on your targets. You know, you, you get you need to keep yourself motivated. You keep get, have reasons to continue on and keep going. Okay. So the other part of that is setting your right prospecting goals. So set your expectations about what fits you, what fits the campaign and the sales cycle. You're going to have a different approach if you're selling $100 widgets versus million-dollar service contracts. So set up set up your expectations accordingly. Okay. Uh, the yeah. other time, the other reality is you have to make it sustainable. Okay. Prospecting is not a one-time deal. You you need to put to design your plan and your prospect that process. That's you can get continue to do on a regular basis uh, because you know prospecting is all about achieving results along the way, and then finally you you know commit to your discipline and focus. You know have a process and stick to it. You know have your plan. Know who you're going to call, when you're going to call them, and one of one of the t- the tricks is you know prepare for your week on the weekends. Get ready to do Monday morning is not the time for you to start planning who you're going to call that day. You know, Monday morning's go time. Yeah. You know, I talk about this all the time and I think there's so many people out there. It's kind of like create the plan and work the plan because so often salespeople are out there just winging it, right? They're either, you know, you see it all the time. They don't prepare. They don't practice. They they don't have a process that they're following. And 
It's so essential in selling, whether it doesn't matter what they're doing. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, going in and calling on customers or prospecting or it doesn't matter. You have to follow a process if you're going to be successful and prospecting is no different, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. So again, you know, some, some of the critical steps to look at is preparation, uh, yes. identify and target your ideal client, group yeah. them. You know, they all have similar problems. What are their common problems? So first yeah. you need to understand what problems you're solving for who, and then prospecting is an art and a science. Okay, uh, a, room, a huge believer in tracking your activities. You know, how many touches are going to take to close a deal? Calculate your activities. I, I tracked uh, my, uh, my outbound activities for a year, and the numbers I came up with, it took uh, 10 appointments or 10 dials to close an appointment, uh, five appointments to get an, a, a proposal, and then three proposals to get a deal. So wow. I reverse engineer that. You know, basically, I need to I need to call a hundred. I need to have 150 calls, reach outs or dials in order to get one deal. So now Thanks. that I go those numbers, yeah, I, I go back and I prepare. What does my day look like? What does my week look like? How am I how am I going to get those calls in? And what's what's the process for that? Right. Right. So. Um, Thank you. Thank you yeah. for sharing those numbers. Sorry to interrupt, but I think that is essential. Thank you for sharing those numbers because I think sometimes, you know, people, especially, you know, people that are new to the game, they think, oh, well, I'll just make five phone calls and I should get a sale. But I think, you know, sharing those numbers, it really makes it real for people out there to understand that, that yeah, this is not for the faint of heart. You have got to make, when we say a really long list, we are not kidding. We're talking a really long list, right? And like, thank you for sharing those numbers and how essential it is. Like when I, I've, I've got that free giveaway, right? How to find, you know, new customers now or the badass guide to finding new customers now. There's a whole page in there about knowing your numbers. Knowing your numbers in selling or in, you know, as a small business owner is critical. And you've hit a really essential point. Mm -hmm. Knowing your numbers is critical and you've just nailed it. Thank you, Greg. You are, see, that's why you're the king of prospecting. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Uh, Thanks. Right on. Okay. So, so Jackie, you know, the, the next steps, I think you mentioned it too, is, is this, what is your process? You know, I know who you're going to reach out to. You mentioned creating a list. Well, you know what? I create a list. I create a list, at least 100 names of who I'm going to talk to. But then the key is uh, I, got, I go old school. I print out that list. And uh, that's important because I want to get into the flow. I want to be making my calls. I want to focus on the conversations going forward. I don't want to be entering into my CRM and taking the taking notes that way. It's it's distracting. It takes you out of the flow. So go yeah. old school. Do the check mark. How many I got uh, at the end end of the day outside of your selling production hours? Then you go back and update your CRM and next steps and and again document everything, but do it at the right time. Right. right? Right. Uh, you mentioned about knowing knowing your script, knowing what to say. Uh, again, don't don't just wing it, but you know, uh, make it your own, own it. I think you said that, uh, yep. and then you decide how you're going to reach out. What kind of tools are you going to use? Are you going to use uh, phone calls, email, social, or a combination of both? So once you got that down, then it's go time. Execute your plan. So block your time off. Turn off your cell phones and alerts. Uh, I like to use the uh, the uh, eight to ten game uh, yes. eight in the morning uh eight to nine i uh, i phone up the follow-up calls for important deals that i can close the most important business of the day brian tracy eat that frog get the <laughs> most important stuff out of the day first and then yeah. i get into my cold calling and warm calls and i make a game it's it's i need 10 conversations before 10 a.m and then track oh. measure and adjust good guys did you hear that 10 conversations before 10 a.m. Ooh, good piece of advice. <laughs> hey, listen, we need to take a little commercial break here. So can we can we cut you off here? Sorry there. Sorry, Greg. We'll cut you off there. But Come on, I'm on a roll, man. I'm on a roll. Oh, I know, I know. You have so much great information. Greg, I'm so sorry. Okay, guys, this is this is Make It Rain Sales, and ooh, we are making it rain sales today. Let me tell you, with all this great information, you guys will be 
rocking it. I know. This is Bold Brave <laughs> Media TV, Make It Rain Sales. I'm your host, Jackie Rainforth. We have our special guest here, Greg Belanger from Top Dog <laughs> Sales and Marketing. We will be back for more hot, hot prospecting tips after this commercial break. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of the Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. The opiate epidemic has reached crisis levels, and with so many families affected by addiction, opiate-related drug overdoses, and death, the time is now to have a real constructive conversation about addiction that could lead to better prevention, treatment, and recovery. Alan Charles, author and keynote speaker on drug abuse and prevention, presents The Alan Charles Show. Alan brings a message of hope, sharing his unbelievable story of surviving a 24-year addiction to cocaine and highlights from his memoir, Walking Out the Other Side, an addict's journey from loneliness to life. His raw honesty and courageous heart breaks the stigma of addiction and offers a unique perspective into the mind of an addict. Join Alan each week as he brings his listeners to a true understanding of the grip of addiction. It is only with this understanding that we can begin to heal. The Alan Charles Show, Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network. Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, if you have questions, you can phone us at 1-866-451-1451. This is Jackie Rainforth. I'm your host here on Bull Brave Media TV. And we are talking, prospecting, how to turn your potentials into profits. And what a show we have. We have our special guest, Greg Belanger. He is the king of prospecting. He is our top dog from Top Dog Sales and Marketing. Wow, we just want to get right back into it because he is giving us all his top dog tips for prospecting. Greg, tell us more. I will, Jackie. But first of all, I want to. I just want to make sure do do a, do a check. Is my is my head growing and swelling <laughs> when I keep being called King of Sales? Because you know that's 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 pretty good for the ego. So thanks for that. <laughs> hey, no problem. Because <laughs> again, a big wall behind you. <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. Um, okay, so you know, again, I talked about the theory about setting things up, but now I'm going to walk through a, a, a live campaign that I've just launched. Okay, okay. it's it's a campaign for my top dog tips. Beba, <laughs> say that ten times fast. Top dog <laughs> tips, top dog. Yeah, anyways, um, so I've got who am I targeting? I'm targeting business owners and professionals wanting to be seen as experts and to grow their business. Uh, I'm taking a multi-channel approach using automation, social media, social media, uh, telephone, and uh, virtual video calls. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm tracking my activities, and I'm, I'm tracking for 30 days before I make any adjustments to my plan. Okay, okay. you know what? May I interrupt you? I'm just going to tell you guys who Greg is, just so you have a quick idea. So Greg oh. is on um, YYC Media, right? YYC Calgary Business, and he does video uh i well you tell them what you do right video oh sure sure yeah so uh, my, my company um yeah you know uh megapix media is the umbrella company that owns our assets digital assets or yyc calgary business a uh, yg edmonton business and these are platforms that we use to deliver some localized business news but also to uh, act as a, a a platform vehicle for local businesses to tell their story, 
get it published. We do it through the uh, the art of using video, the most powerful medium out there. And we do all the heavy lifting. It's kind of video as a service. So we do the we do the uh, video production, the scripting, get everything laid out. Uh, we do the uh, uh, publication, production, and then distribution through our platforms. So right. that's what we do for customers. Right. And I interview the people sometimes for you. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So if you want video marketing, that's what they do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So sorry to interrupt, but keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. So no, that, that, that's an important distinction. So yeah. again, I've launched a new show. Uh, the, the show is called uh, uh, yeah, Top, Top Dog Tips, uh, Professional Business Advice from Experts. So what I'm looking for are experts to interview and, uh, and go through, uh, yeah, to interview. Again, what's in it for them? They're looking to raise their profile, uh, get some exposure, be known as an authority figure, and drive business to them, magnetic marketing. Right. So the process is, uh, first I get my list, I find my prospects uh, and their LinkedIn contacts. So I use uh, LinkedIn Navigator as a tool, uh, some business associations that are out there, networking groups, that's how I, I, I go through my list. And then I get their LinkedIn, LinkedIn address. Then I've got an automated reach out program where uh, the first part of it is I automate it with the list. They reach out, it's real simple. Uh, it's a simple decision tree format, yes or no. And the message is, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm looking for experts to interview. Are you interested? Yes or no. If you're interested, please connect with me. Mm -hmm. Great. The next step is thanks for connecting. Let's set up a 15 minute phone call. OK, uh, again, because it's early in the process, I, I want to I want to I want to talk to people and touch it and, and understand it. When, once I get the process down, I will further automate that into a uh, sign up for a form, sign up for a landing page, apply here. But right now, the early stages, I'm using the phone call and then the phone conversation. The purpose of the phone conversation is to close the deal a continuation where I take the information and put it into a, a nurture campaign, a drip email campaign, or kill it. So close it, continue it, or kill it, okay? Um, right. If it's if it just, I close the deal, and then bank, collect payment, and get out to the implementation. Right. So it's it's a simple a simple process, uh, and again, it's it's this process works for this campaign because it's a relatively easy decision, uh, a, a pretty uh, uh, a comfortable price point, and it's easy. It can it can be done in a one phone call close. If I'm trying to sell million dollar service contacts, this isn't the campaign for you. Right. And so let's talk about it just a little bit more. So I had posted the other day, when you do a reach out on, say, something like LinkedIn, first of all, it needs to be short. It needs to be under 100 words, right? It needs to be kind of a yes or no. It needs to be something really simple that captures their attention. And right, it's just, hey, this is what I do. You may or may not be interested. Yeah, right. But if you are, here you go. Yes or no, reach out, right? Like it's just, yeah. it's not aggressive. It's not assertive. It's it's just, this is a service, yes or no. And not, you know, in your face kind of, right? That type of thing. Yeah. It's, it's just offering, right? Stop the scroll and keep it simple. Right, yeah really really simple now there is a train of thought that people get offended without building up the relationship first there's two trains of thought that you should that you should be able to build up the the relationship first that is up to the person some people have success depending on their business i think right whether you want that I, I would think that video marketing, some people might go, ooh, that's unique and different. I bet that's very successful if you just kind of put it out there. I think for things like SEO, when you get hit up with that 100 times oh. a day, then people are like, eh, don't want that. Anyway, that's something you can decide and play with on your own. Depends on your market. But thank you for that tip. That's great and for sharing that, Greg. When we get back, we're going to we're going to move into a little bit more about the social media and some of the other things that Greg does. So this is Jackie Rainforth. I'm your host on Bold Brave Media TV. We will come back with some really cool more takeaways 
on prospecting. So we will see you soon. Thanks for joining us. And we will have some free giveaways later in the show. See you when we get back. Bye-bye. Have you ever felt like no one is listening or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. Hi, everyone. It, this is Jackie Rainforth. I'm your host here on Bold Brave Media TV on Make It Rain Sales. I hope you have been enjoying the show because this has been filled with value add takeaways and best practices. And of course, we have our special guest expert, Greg Boulanger. He has been sharing all sorts of great things on prospecting and how you turn prospects into profits. I know, it, of course, hey, it is really, really tough to prospect. And I think for all of us, it's like, uh, prospecting, we hate it, but it's got, it's a necessary evil of selling, isn't it? We have to keep those funnels full. We have to keep that consistent flow going and it takes work. And as you saw with the numbers, oh, uh, right? It's a lot of work and a lot of numbers, but it's got to be done if you want to be successful, particularly if you're in commission sales, particularly the numbers, right? 50% of small businesses fail in the first five years. If you want to keep that income going and that consistent flow, you have got to be prospecting. You've got to be building that consistent flow of income and 57% of sales teams are not making quota. Ooh. So, Greg. I need to ask you, how important is it to be using social media in prospecting? Uh, well, well, thanks. I, I have some pretty strong opinions on that, Jackie. But you know, just to go back to your last comments, I heard a lot of prospecting is a necessary evil. We must have it. We've got to. And, you know, go back to my first comment. You know, you got to find a way to get that thought process out of your mind and turn it into something you look forward to. Why do you like prospecting? How is this going to meet my goals? So, sorry, just, so. just a bit so <laughs> <laughs> All right. Prospecting is a picnic and we all I love it. it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. So, oh, social sorry. media for prospecting. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the main message on that is social media is a tool. It's got its place in prospecting, but it's not the only tool. You can't rely on it social uh, totally. Okay. Right. Um, one of the things to remember about the digital online world and the, the new new the new world the new world order is uh, people have access to all kinds of information and your reputation arrives before you do. If you first thing you'll think about it, first thing you do is you, if somebody reaches out to you, you Google them or you check to your LinkedIn. You try and figure out who this people is, who this person is. What do they have to say, and is this going to be relevant to me? So that that's your first your first cut of the cat. So if they're looking you up and they can't find anything about you, well then you're dead in the water. So yes. you know uh, there's different tools and different ways you can go to build your online reputation and profile. Uh, you can do it through again uh, continuously posting on social media, on your company blogs, on different sites, posting good, relevant, valuable content. Um, you know, keep keep the personal stuff and the cat videos away from your from your business profile. So it's only my thought. So no, and the other it's true. It's true, especially on business sites like LinkedIn. People do not like that. They do not like the personal stuff. I mean, let's let me just qualify that. They do want to know about who the people are behind the company, right? When you post team pictures, when you post 
a little bit about you because they do want to know who that person is behind the company, those those tend to get five times as many views as, you know, just say a regular company post, but they don't want all the fluffy stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and you may be surprised to learn, Jackie, that in my personal opinion, the use of a video is the most powerful way to boost your profile. And if you're afraid of video, if you're afraid of how to use it, you're not that comfortable. I know a guy who knows a guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's so awesome. I, again, back back to the back to the the social media. Um, you know, the different tools, the different platforms out there. LinkedIn is the most authoritative platform to use to build your business reputation. So make sure you have a robust LinkedIn profile, uh, people that need to know who you are, what you do, and, and who you do it for. Uh, the next one is Facebook. Facebook is still the Mac daddy of all social media platforms, regardless of all the negative press and stuff they've been getting. But Facebook is, is you got to be careful on how you use it. Again, Facebook is a great tool to learn more about the personal lives of your prospects or customers. If you want to connect with them that way, uh, again, be careful. It's a slightly different style of relationship. Okay. Yeah. Twitter is a great platform to get on and monitor your, your company's uh, CEOs, your high profilers, uh, uh, the current events, what's, what's going on in their world. And you can just monitor it, watch it, and participate if you want, but it's a great tool to monitor. And then finally, with your own company pages, your own blogs, make yourself a presence. You know, keep keep going with 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 your posting. You need it to be great content. It needs to be consistent. Uh, it's got to be relevant to your connections. And one of the other things is you always need to have a call to action when you're posting something. Tell your clients what to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the other the other caution is do not be using your your production time to be on social media. Social media is a time time sink. It's a time track. Okay. Uh, be be very conscious to be aware what you're doing, why you're using social media. But the the fallacy of saying, "Hey, I'm just going to check my uh, check my profile," leads you down into a 15, 20 minute, 30 minute trap. All of a sudden, you're watching TikTok videos and you're off your focus, you're off your you're off your mandate and your flow. It's all gone. So stay away from it. And the other the other thing about uh, understanding social media is, you know, you can't take your likes, comments, and shares to your sales manager and say, you know what, I didn't make my numbers, but bad, look how many people liked what I what I posted. <laughs> right. But those likes, comments and shares, that does help you stand out and build, you know, those are the things that make you stand out with the people that you want to make relationships with or that you want to get noticed by. It's a great way, right, with those prospects that you want to get noticed by. So if there are people or prospects that you, you know, want to kind of go, hey, I'm out here, that is a great way to start before you start your campaign. It's, it, right? Yeah, you know what? Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt, Jackie, but you're, the the what a lot of people miss is the social the social and social media. The role of social media is about it's the new way to create engagement and build your relationships. Okay, uh, you you got to build up. People buy from people they know, like, and trust, and by being present. Uh, and and posting good valued content, you're right. That that's a that's a step into it. But it doesn't. It does not replace the uh, the the uh, the hard work, the prospecting, the daily process, the things that you need to do to sell. This is yeah. a way to help set up the sale. Yes, yes, yes. It's a great way to kind of get noticed. You know, the likes, comments, and shares. Because again, if you look at a point system, and you know, for those people who do post and. It, it takes a lot of time. There's a point system. And so every time you do a like, they get one point. Every time you do uh, a comment, it's like two points. And every time you do a share, it's like five points. So people do appreciate, for those people who post, every time you like, comment, or share, they do appreciate you doing that. And they should be commenting back or saying something back, right? So it is a great way to get noticed and start those conversations, which can lead to opportunities of relationship building. Anyway, we, we do need to kind of move forward here, guys. But thank you, Greg. That's a great way to talk to us about prospecting and moving forward. 
Thank you with that. Really appreciate it. I'm your host here, Jackie Rainforth from Bold, uh, from <laughs> Make It Rain Sales here on Bold Brave Media TV. We will be right back. We have got some incredible, incredible giveaways to help you with your prospecting and to really help you um, amp up those sales and take your sales from stalled to unstoppable. When we get back. Thanks, guys. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for staying tuned with us. This is a, I mean, this show has just been amazing, has it not? Our guest here on Make It Rain Sales has been Greg Belanger from Top Doc Sales and Marketing. I'm your host, Jackie Rainforth on Make It Rain Sales on Bold Brave Media TV. Wow. Thank you, Greg Belanger. You have been amazing. Your tips, your helpful series of a, how you do it and, and the help with social media has been amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So how can people get a hold of you, Greg? Well, you know what? Uh, my my, my uh, carrier pigeons just all died, so you're going to have to go <laughs> old school. <laughs> uh, your best way to get a hold of me is send me an email. It's Greg at megapixmedia.com. Uh, we'll, we'll post something out. It'll be, take a look at our social media channels. Um, get a hold of me that way. And uh, you know what? The, uh, the, the takeaway is you also stay tuned to YYC Calgary Business. Be on the lookout for my new show launching in the next couple of weeks. Uh, uh, top dog tips for business, business professionals. Hey, listen, if you want to be an expert on the show, Again, email me and let's discuss and see what that looks like for you. How can I help you? Okay, help me help you. So awesome. again, it's uh, Greg at megapixmedia.com. Uh, the other thing I want to give away is, is I, I put together a an ebook called How to Create Your Own YouTube Channel Using Videos. So again, same thing. Uh, email Jackie, email myself, and get and apply apply for this uh, free gift, valuable book on YouTube and videos and the next wave. Wow. Well, thanks. Ooh, See, people, when you stay tuned to the end, we have got lots of free giveaways. And at Rainmakers Business Solutions, we have got some more giveaways for you. Thank you for staying tuned with us to the end for sticking with us. We have got another, but well, we've got more giveaways for you as well. If you go to rainmakersgroup.ca, we have got the badass guide to finding new customers now. Now in that, it has got lead generation tips. How do you find those sales opportunities? What are the things that you can do to find those opportunities? There's 10 steps, 10 things that you should be doing to help you find those opportunities. It's got the 10 steps to telephone prospecting. It's got know your numbers. How do you zero down? How do you find those numbers? It is filled with all sorts of great stuff. You have absolutely got to want to get that. We've also got, so you go to rainmakersgroup.ca, go to the live show, and you can sign up on to, uh, to for the uh, the giveaway right there. We also have, if you go to info at rainmakersgroup.ca, you can get the downloadable book, The Badass Guide to Superstar Selling. Again, filled with all sorts of freebies, all sorts of great stuff to help you build your business and become a badass superstar in selling. All sorts of uh, scripts and all sorts of great things. So again, if you're looking for sales training, if you're looking for a speaker, if you're looking for you know, help with your selling, 
prospecting, any of that stuff, I am your host here on Bold Brave TV, Make It Rain Sales, Jackie Brainforth, your host, and we are here to help. Again, Jackie Brainforth on Bold Brave TV, Make It Rain Sales. We are here to help you. Go to rainmakersgroup.ca live show and sign up for Badass Guide to Finding New Customers Now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for um, being a viewer here on our show. We really appreciate it. We uh, Anything we can do to help you viewers, please let us know. Just give us a quick email. Take care. We'll see you next week live. Bye-bye. This has been Make It Rain Sales with host Jackie Rainforth. Join us each week for a unique, engaging, and interactive new way to have your sales questions answered and start taking your sales from stalled to unstoppable as you make it rain sales in your business. Listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.